Spotify Showcase is a new music marketing tool by Spotify that allows you to show your music directly on the homepage of the Spotify mobile app to both free and premium Spotify listeners. In this video, I'm going to show you what it looks like, how it works, who's going to have access to it, and roughly how much it's going to cost. Hey everyone, Andrew here. This is what Spotify Showcase actually looks like. So this is a little picture of a phone. You can see there's this little pop-up thing that shows the release, it shows the play button, it shows a save button, and then it allows people to click on your song and go to the release. If we go down a little bit, you can see that there's actually different types of messaging you can put in terms of a headline above your track, getting buzz, on tour, new music, release anniversary, and there's a few more that we're gonna go through on this video as well that they've listed. I don't know for a fact if you can customize this or if it's just a preset list of options, but they do give some more examples throughout this post. Now, if you're familiar with something like Spotify Marquee, this is a complementary but different tool. Spotify Marquee is a tool you can use to retarget people who have previously engaged with their music. Showcase is a tool you can use to also previously retarget people who have engaged with music, but also target new people. And they, they share exactly how you can retarget people by the different segments inside of Spotify for artists that you already have, but they haven't really clarified on how you can target new people. Are we gonna be able to specify what artists they like? or is it gonna be some automated thing that they use their algorithm to figure that out? We don't know yet. They do make the distinction that Showcase is not just for new music like Spotify Marquee, and it's not just for old music like Discovery Mode, it's for both. So you can promote a brand new song, you can promote a song that came out five years ago, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter how old the song is, you can use it to promote everything. So now we're gonna get into some of the nitty gritty in terms of how Showcase works, who's gonna have access to it, and roughly how much it costs. But first, if you found this video helpful so far, consider slapping that like button, because it's been a naughty boy. So as is typical with Spotify, they've buried a lot of the information in various articles that I'm gonna now summarize for you. So we go down here, we can see some of the ways they recommend people are gonna use Showcase. Hyping up a fan with an old favorite to build excitement for an upcoming release. Putting a seasonal hit in front of new listeners during a holiday moment. Re-engaging listeners you haven't reached in a while with a new release. They show a pretty helpful graphic here where the release shows up on the homepage. They can click play, but they can also add the song to their library and then click on the release and go check out the whole album or EP or whatever. So not only is it to check out the song and play it immediately, but it's pretty easy for them to save it right in that moment. And saves lead to, in my experience, the most amount of streams long-term on your music. And it's why that generally from your ad campaigns, you get most of your results after the campaign is over, not during the campaign. This article also gives some clarity on some of these headlines that you have access to. Again, I don't know if you can customize your own or if there's even more, but releasing music soon, new music, recently released, on tour, release anniversary, getting buzz, and seasonal vibes are, are at least the ones that we have access to out of the box. Now, some of you are probably paranoid because Spotify tends to release these features and severely restrict who has access to them in terms of geographic location, audience size, and other various factors that are outside of your control, like what distributor you use in the case of discovery mode, but in this case, it's a little bit better, but also kind of the same. So they're rolling it out to US-based teams first, which is very typical for Spotify, even though they're a Swedish company and it seemingly makes no sense why they would do such a thing. But as an American myself, that's cool, but I feel your pain for those of you who are not in the US that arbitrarily you won't have access to this tool right away. Uh, but the better thing about this is that it's being rolled out to the countries you can target more quickly. It's meaning like you're gonna have immediate access to 36 different markets if you're in the US and you have access to it. But even better, well, Mark, he has a 5K monthly stream requirement or more than a thousand followers per country. For Showcase, it's just at least a thousand streams over the last 28 days. So the barrier to entry in terms of audience size is very low. We have access to a whole bunch of countries right out the gate. Unfortunately, for those of you outside the US, you're going to have to wait. And for those of you thinking, oh, I'm just gonna go to my billing country and I'm just gonna lie and say I'm from the United States, with Marquee at least, they did check credit card numbers. So if you were a Canadian, you entered in the US, then you entered in your Canadian credit card, it wouldn't work. <laughs> so I'm assuming that also won't work with Showcase, unfortunately. So the second that I have access to Showcase, whether it's my music or for any of the artists I have access to in Spotify for artists, with their permission sharing the data, I will make videos showing you how Showcase works, what the performance results are, how much it costs and all that. But for now, we do have some information because as I said, this is getting rolled out in the coming months. So it might be a little bit before I have access to it. It does happen through Spotify for artists. It's not through the Spotify ad studio dashboard. So just like Marquee and Discovery Mode, you go into the campaign section, you choose Showcase, you schedule a Showcase, you type in your budget, your country, your headline, your target audience, and your payment method, and then you submit the thing. There are some additional requirements per release, but these are pretty reasonable. You can only promote albums, EPs, and singles. 
can't be a sound alike or karaoke thing. You have to actually be an artist on the release. You have to be a rights holder that's getting paid on the release. But one kind of interesting distinction, you can't promote an artist with a general name that describes the performer content like sleep music. So this is kind of like a direct attack on the sleep music, white noise music, relaxing meditation stuff. Uh, for some reason, they don't want it, which in my opinion, if they don't want it, why do they allow it on the platform? <laughs> but they don't want it for showcase. And uh, additionally, like your artwork has to meet their advertising terms and conditions. So if your artwork I don't know, is too violent or too sexy or whatever their rules are, uh, you might not be able to run your showcase campaign. They don't want it show, being shown to their millions of users every day on the homepage of their platform. All right, so now some juicy information about the payment. They have this page, Marquee and Showcase Payment and Budget. And the pricing is actually reasonable in terms of what you can get started with. It's 100 bucks, which is actually better than what Marquee launched at. Marquee started at 250 and now it's down to 100. But now it's just 100 for for this new showcase tool, which is great. This doesn't tell us anything about how much it costs. However, we do see here that it's priced on a cost per click basis and clicks, including saves are billable. So I think what this means is when they see your thing, if they click to go to your release, that's a click. If they click play, that's a click. If they click save, that's a click. And they're billing you in a per click basis, regardless of which one of those three things the person takes. One thing this page doesn't show us is what is the cost per click in any given country? And I was a little upset that I couldn't find any information about that. But then I scrolled down this article that we we're looking at before. They have more information. So you can start at $100 for your whole budget and the cost per click starts at 40 cents per click, which that gives us a pretty good idea of how much this is gonna cost because Marquee starts at like 12 cents a click for like Brazil or Mexico or I forget. Uh, one of the cheaper countries is like 12 cents a click. So the fact that this starts at 40 means that the range of cost per click based on countries is probably between 40 cents and like $1.50. $1.50 being like United States, which is one of the, I think the most expensive marquee country. And the cheap 40 cents being like Brazil and Mexico, which are the, some of the cheapest marquee countries. So what this means is uh, showcase is probably fairly expensive, which kind of makes sense because it is on the homepage. And even if you're not getting clicks, you're getting a lot of brand awareness. So to me, that seems kind of reasonable, although I wish this was cheaper. Um, but this actually points out kind of an interesting situation that we've never had before. And what I mean by this is if you know that, for example, it's a dollar per click based on the country you're targeting. And let's say you have $10,000, which is the maximum budget you can run a showcase campaign for. You're effectively getting 10,000 guaranteed clicks or saves on your song within a 14 day period, which is the, the length, the maximum length these campaigns can run for. Now it doesn't, you're not, it's not guaranteed they'll be able to actually get all those results for you. But if they do, that means if you have deep, a deep, po deep pockets and a big budget, you can effectively almost guarantee that your song is going to get 10,000 streams or saves in that time frame. And perhaps a lot of people that save it also stream it. And a lot of people that stream it also save it or add it to a playlist. So it could actually end up being more than that. Who knows what the actual performance is going to be like, but this is kind of the first time in history we can get guaranteed results in such a manner directly on Spotify because Marquee didn't really provide the same level of, of results. Usually there was a drop off between a click and a listener. With this, the play button's right there. So it's a little more instantaneous. With Facebook ads, for example, you know, you, you might have results that vary between as low as eight cents per conversion and as high as like a dollar fifty per conversion between the best case and the worst case, meaning a $2,000 budget might get you over a million streams, but a $2,000 budget might also only get you 10,000 streams. It just depends on the performance. Usually someone falls in that middle range where they're not the best and they're not the worst. But with this, it's just, it's a guaranteed cost per click, right? So if you have $2,000, you know exactly what you're gonna get on the other side, or they're just not gonna spend all your money. And that's both a good and a bad thing. In the good way, it means you kind of know exactly what you're gonna get, but on the bad end, it means that whoever has the most money wins. It doesn't really matter how, how engaging your ad is or how good your targeting is. It's just who has the most money. And of course, the song has to be good. Otherwise, no one's actually gonna listen to the whole thing or 30 seconds of it to count as a stream. But assuming all the music's like roughly the same quality, it seems like it's kind of just whoever has the most budget wins. So once this gets rolled out, Spotify will effectively have three main marketing tools inside of Spotify for artists. They have Marquee, which is a way to retarget your existing fans. They have Discovery Mode, which is a way to spread your music out to new people in radio and autoplay algorithmically. And they have Showcase, which allows you to either retarget or collect new people 
in a way that's similar to Marquee by having like a, a message that's right in front of people's faces when they open up the app. Which means technically what you could do is use Showcase to not only show previous people your existing release, but grow your audience. Use Discovery Mode to also algorithmically grow your back catalog, and then use Marquee to ensure that all the people who have recently checked out your music check out your new song. So it does seem like these tools kind of fit together and overlap in some ways, but they, they kind of all make sense in the same ecosystem. Now, if you've never tried Discovery Mode, I do have a video right here you can check out that goes through my experience with it and my results. And if you never use Spotify Marquee, I also have a video right here you can check out that goes through my experience and my performance and my results. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. Hope you found this video helpful. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.